What's up, people? Um, I haven't been on for a while now. I uh, had some other things to deal with. I, uh, I'm just not. It's 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 the winter months. I don't really make anything. But uh, just a few things to you know, go on about is um, my really two video was taken down copyright on one of the fucking music that was in it. And it was fucking panic at this guy. I don't even like this band, I just thought that one song was pretty good so I thought I'd put it in, you know, it's kind of like a different beat to a song so I figured oh, I'd put it in to be funny but uh, make the film a little like lively after seeing Glenn get killed but um, they took it down after almost 10,000 views <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're just jealous because I was getting so many hits on it but I don't know why, I, I'm really pissed off about it but uh, I'm not gonna let it get to me if anything, I think I'm gonna probably make another re part too, a different type of you know, on the same track. I don't know yet, but uh, that's just, it kind of get, it didn't really get to me, but it just, that was like one of my best videos, I think, you know, it was just so like, different, and you know, I used to Glendale because I didn't have anybody else to work with, so, it was, it sucks it got taken down, but, I mean, fuck you, panic at the disco, what your fucking name is, who the fuck are you guys again? Fuck you. <laughs> I just finished my uh, script for uh, this movie I made, Wolfwoods, and it's um, basically influenced by uh, two things. One is this movie that's very underrated called uh, Dog Soldiers. And, uh, producers of Hellraiser made it, and uh, it went direct to video. Great movie. It was, it was, it was, I think it was made in the UK. It was a great movie, Dog Soldiers. Oh. And on top of that, it snowed really bad over here in New England, and I was out shoveling. And then I went for a walk in the woods, and I just figured, wow, this would make a good scene for our movie. And that's what caught my eye, so I figured I'd write a story over the Christmas break, and I did, and it came out well, I'm done with it, and um, I'd like, you know, to make it, but I want it to be set in the you know, snow time, so I gotta wait for a big blizzard to hit New England. But, you know, it's hard to find people, but I'm not really gonna execute this one. I have a live at dawn that I want to do, and all sorts of stuff. I only put the trailer up for a live at dawn, I always wanted to do the whole thing. I just never got around to it because I had certain people who uh, just hated on me, but you know, it's all good, it'll work out. Who I recently acquired films I got was um, Motel Hell and Deranged, this is a double pack, and um, I didn't really care for Deranged, I thought it was just stupid, but Motel Hell, I love Motel Hell, and I had to get on DVD since I have it on a... Uh, Cassette and uh, you know, I'm afraid to play my cassette because I don't want it to get eaten by my old VCR. So I decided just to get a DVD. I shelled out I think eight bucks for it. Newberry Comics. That was a steal. Now the second movie, that was a toss up between Homesick or um, what the hell was the other one? I wanted to get Chud too, but I didn't have enough money for that one. They wanted fourteen bucks for Chud. Give me a fucking break. And uh, what was the other one I did? I forget, but uh, I got uh, this this 80s slasher flick called Final Exam. Never even heard of it. I saw the poster and I was like, oh yeah, that'll sell me. And I, I like I like you know old 80s B movies and, and even the low budget and they suck. It's still fun to watch. I mean, I I thought this movie wasn't that great, but I mean, it just took a long time for them to get um some killing involved. I mean, they had this one scene where it was in like a sort of like a fraternity pulled up in a, a van. They started mowing down people with guns, and then you find out after it was a joke, and it was a prank, and it was just like, 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 <laughs> I never expect that in a movie like this, so that caught my eye, and I give them props for that, but besides that, movie set balls. But, uh, you know, it's something that I'm glad to have in my collection, because it's, you know, 80s, and it's retro.